Hi, this is Trey Passer, and this is my comic book update for the month. I haven't done one of these in a while, so um, I have nine titles. Okay, and uh, this, these are all DC, part of the new 52. That um, so let me just go through them real briefly. I'm just gonna go through probably just one or two of them. You should see the inside pages because you know it'll be a forever video if I go through every one of them. Okay, this is the Teen Titans number eight, and this is a real good issue. I just read this one. Teen Titans number eight, right there. It says Ravages Reborn. Okay. The next title is OMAC, number issue number eight, The End of OMAC, right there. Okay. The next one is Blue Beetle, number eight, issue number eight. It said Time's Not on Your Side When Facing Stopwatch. There we go. The next title is uh, Superman, issue number seven. Okay, and issue number eight. Okay, there we go. And the next issue is Justice League, issue number seven. There we go. And it says at the bottom there, starting in this, start, starting in this issue, Sazam. I don't know if you heard about they changed Captain Marvel's name to officially to Sazam now. And this is issue number eight. Okay. It, uh, it says again, continuing this issue, Shazam. And there we go. There. Then it has the the Red Hood Outlaws. Right there. See that? And the world will pay the price. Vendetta from a mad woman, and the world will pay a price. And last, last but not least, the most interesting comic I think that I picked up. Batman issue number eight, Night Owls, and Night Owls, uh, Night of the Owls begins. Okay, they're starting a, a story arc with the uh, Night Owls that's going to span span into all the Batman family related com comics. And I'm going to start with this comic. Let you see the inside of this because this one is the first one I read. It's the most interesting. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, it starts back at Batman or Bruce Wayne narrating, talking about Gotham. Okay, and it just shows you several rooftops and stuff. And then you see uh, him having a conversation with Alfred. Right there. And if you remember from my past updates, uh, he's been battling this group called uh, the Owls, who's, who stretched back all the way to the early parts of uh, Gotham City and stuff. Okay, and. If you look here, you see that the owls are attacking Wayne Manor right there. You can see that. And this is a great shot right there. Love the artwork. And the story is just fantastic. Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo, and Jonathan Kalapian have done great with this with the Batman. It's just been great. See, there it is. It's a nice shot right there of the owls attacking Bruce Wayne right there and him fighting back. Again, more fighting and more Alfred in the Batcave uh, communicating with Bruce while oh, he's fighting off these owl assassins. Okay, again, more violence. And like I said, this story is just, it's just fantastic. See that? Again, more, more Bruce Wayne battling the Owls. And them telling them that they're coming. Telling him basically that he has no hope that they're coming. Okay, hold on, let's drop that. <laughs> hold on. Let me make sure I... Okay, yeah, that's it. And this is where I left off. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Again, more uh, Bruce Wayne uh, protecting himself in the Batcave with Alfred there against the Owls, the killers. Okay. 
And again, there's more sh shots of them trying to get in. Batman and uh, Bruce Wayne, huh? Bruce Wayne and Alfred lock themselves in the armory, and the owls are basically tell them that they're coming for them. It's just a matter of time before they get in, break into the armory, and get to them. And they basically tell them to, uh, you can't hide forever, to open up. Right there, and you see and the door slowly starts to open. And then if you look on this page, it tells you uh, that the Night Owls will rule the darkness, and it tells you it's an epic event that begins in April and May, uh, and it goes through several comic books, uh, All-Star Westerns, The Batman Number 8, uh, Batman Number 9, uh, Batman The Dark Knight Number 9, Batman and Robin Number 9, Batwing number nine, Batgirl number nine, Red Hood and the Outlaws number nine, Nightwing number eight, Nightwing number nine, Catwoman number nine, and Birds of Prey number nine. Just telling you that this owl storyline is is gonna happen in uh, in all these comic books. And it's a great story actually. And then you see uh like I said in this part right here you see uh. Uh, they're banging on the, the assassins are banging on the armory door and it slowly opens. And then <laughs> Batman is dressed in his armor, his bat armor, and he says, get the hell out of my house. It's a nice, beautiful shot. Just want you to see that. All right. He's dressed in his bat armor right there, saying, get the hell out of my house, to the stunned assassins. And then it says, the next issue... The war for Gotham begins. Okay, so that's where that ends. But basically, uh, they do have more, more stories, more different. You know, it's different art from a different artist, but more continuation of the story. And uh, right there, and then basically, um, Alfred is is uh, deciphering uh, one of these codes that I guess that he got from one of the people that uh, Batman, Bruce Wayne killed, and it has a list of all the fame, uh, all these. The big role is in the high important people in Gotham that the owls are coming after, and that's what basically this is. The next this page here is the owls coming after all the important people in Gotham, like the uh, mayor, uh, Gotham City deputy, uh, city controller, the Supreme Court justice, head of city planning commission, Gotham Commission of Cultural Affairs, and it's basically he's you know they said the, the court of owls have sentenced them to death. Sentence to die, exactly. And, then, and Batman is basically telling Alfred to put the call out to, to every, every member of the family. You mean Nightwing, Batgirl, you know, you know, Red Robin, the Red Hood, which is what this is right there. You see the Red Hood, Bat, Nightwing, Robin, Red Robin, Batgirl, just all the... And, and then uh, basically they show you Batman getting ready to square off against the, the assassins there and then it says the call and basically like I said in the next issues of those various comic books they're going to have the owls I guess fighting in the Bat family all, which is, and this has been actually a great story this, this run I definitely recommend this run of the Batman this is issue number 8 and Definitely get all the previous issues because it's just been a really good, great storyline happening throughout. Okay, so I'm going to end it there and just show you the titles that I picked up again. Of course, Batman issue number eight, uh, The Red Hood Outlaws, which is another good comic book. Okay, that one. Okay, uh, Justice League issue number seven and issue number eight. And Superman issue number seven, and issue number eight. Okay, and Blue Beetle issue number eight, another good comic. And OMAC, which I absolutely love the, the style of art in this story. So, sort of like an old, old school Jack Kirby. And Teen Titans number eight, which is another cool comic book, a really good reboot of the Teen Titans. Okay, and I just want to show you a little bit of the uh, the OMAD art, which looks totally like Jack Kirby. Keith uh, Geffen, who drew it, just totally, his style is totally uh, Jack Kirby. 
And if you have a big fan of comics, you know what Jack Kirby's style is. And I just want to show you that OMAC has, has been a really good comic book, you know, story-wise and art, especially art-wise. It's just, like I said, Keith Giffen is really just draws in the style of uh, Jack Kirby, which looks absolutely fantastic. Look at that. That great shot right there of OMAC just destroying people right there. This looks absolutely, totally like Jack Kirby. And I just have to give Keith Geffen credit for being able to draw like Jack Kirby. Just, you know, just fantastic to me. And just uh, fantastic. Okay. Yeah, so that's it. So that's my comic book update. Let me know if you collect these titles, if you like any of the titles. Leave your comments down below. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.